Hi, I'm Richard Johnson. I'm an artist based in Toronto. My work is currently showing at Toronto's Pearson Airport in the connector tunnel in Terminal 3. There are six wall niches, 46 feet long by six feet high. Three have ice huts laid out east to west, like looking at a map of Canada, British Columbia to Newfoundland. Three of the niches have ice villages from Quebec. The moving sidewalk takes you on this journey from coast to coast. Growing up, I was always fascinated by photography and its ability to tell a story. But I was young and I didn't have many stories to tell, so I pursued a career as an interior designer. In 1992, I combined my interest in photography and design, and I became an architectural photographer. I was inspired by the work of the Beckers, specifically their Water Tower series. And it wasn't long before I started to investigate some of my own projects. The garbage bins of Wasaga Beach, the chip wagons of Ontario, the covered bridges of Vermont, tobacco drying huts of Delhi. And in 2007, I turned my lens towards the architecture of ice fishing. And that's where this journey began. I was curious if there was ice fishing everywhere in Canada, and if there would be a difference in the architectural styles between provinces. Canada is a huge country, and I knew it would take years to complete, so I thought I should photograph this in a consistent, repetitive manner, known as a typology. This allows the work to be viewed together as a series. The square format, the overcast light, the placement of the subject on the same horizon line. This makes it easier to compare the similarities and differences of color, material, form, and design. What interests me about the ice huts is their simplicity. They're often built by the hut owner with reclaimed materials for very little cost. It's funny how architects want to control everything in the building process, the planning, the materials, the joinery. And here you have a guy with three sheets of plywood and he puts together uh, an ice fishing hut. Uh, they're rough and ready and that's what makes them such powerful objects. This installation represents a selection of ice huts from more than 1,000 images taken over a 10-year period from more than 50 locations in Canada. British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and Newfoundland. In 2010, I came upon several locations in Quebec and Manitoba where the huts were too close together to get individual shots. So I pulled back to photograph them as wide panoramas. This new format also expanded the narrative to include community and landscape. I call this series the Ice Villages. Rimouski, located on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River, three hours east of Quebec City, there is a Magasin General, or a general store, in the center of the village, which you have to walk past to get to your hut. This village is popular for kite surfing as well as fishing. Visitors leave their vehicles on shore and walk in, which concentrates the photographs on clusters of huts. Bois Châtel. Also located east of Quebec City on the St. Lawrence River, this is the last evening of the fishing season of 2018. The organizers have arranged a party tent with a DJ and drinks. People gather from every direction on skidoos. In the background is the bridge to Ile d'Orléans. What happens to these ice huts when the season is over? Many return to their owner's properties. Some end up in storage at the local marina. In this location, just outside Oka, Quebec, there is a village that is set up as if it were on ice, but it's in a farmer's field. Guys gather on weekends to repair the huts and visit around campfires. I call this series Ice Villages on Holiday. I want to thank the GTAA for this opportunity to share my ice huts with you. They're simply a remarkable blend of renegade architecture and folk art, reflecting the resilience of the Canadian spirit. Have a great flight. Thank you.